Qantas Airways Flight 72 cruises above the Indian Ocean headed for Western Australia. Flight 72 departed from Singapore. The flight path covers almost 2,500 miles across the Southern Indian Ocean to Perth, Australia. All right, Ross, out of my way. Captain's back in action. Captain Kevin Sullivan is a former Top Gun fighter pilot with the US Navy. Ross Hales is the second officer. First Officer Peter Lipsat is the next pilot scheduled to go on break. So, Peter, what's the update? We're 100 nautical miles from the coast. Learmonth is to our left. And still cruising at 37,000 feet. All right. Have a good rest. Perfect weather is making for a comfortable flight. We're over the ocean, and things were very smooth. Any changes? Altitude and airspeed's the same. Smooth sailing. Now don't tell me I just jinxed us. The captain notices his autopilot is no longer engaged. Autopilot one disconnects, and now I'm hand flying. It's a bit annoying, but we have two systems. Engaging autopilot two. I engaged autopilot two. And no sooner had I done that, than we started getting overspeed and stall warnings. Stall. The cam's showing a lot of errors. Stall. Overspeed warning. Stall. How can we be in a stall and overspeed at the same time? Stall. We can't. Airspeed's unreliable. Disconnecting autopilot. That's the first phase of unreliable speed memory checklist. Autopilot off. I'm hand flying now, manually flying. Flight attendant Fuzzy Mayaba finally has a moment to grab a bite to eat. As yes, I focused properly on the timer, 13 seconds. 13 seconds was the actual time. All I could see was the floor disappearing, like away from my feet. We were going up. Sudden G-forces pull passengers up from their seats. Anyone not strapped in hits the cabin ceiling. And it's went bang. I must have hit the ceiling because it knocked me out. And I'm not sure how long it was for uh, maybe two, three seconds, tens. Uh, uh, I just wasn't sure. The G-force was enough, even with our three-point harness, to lift us both out of the seat and push us forward as well. That's quite disorienting. Flight 72 is suddenly in a dangerous nosedive. Captain Sullivan grabs the side stick to try to level his plane. It doesn't respond. Once I pulled back on the stick and nothing happened, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not in control of this plane. 